I literally never seen Stevie shit ever. Same. What's up, guys, and welcome to the best publishing channel on YouTube Facts. because we're focused on providing the most value and information that you want to hear about that no one else is willing to talk about. Yes, sir. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about and showing you how to hire a ghostwriter to write your book for you. And where are you going to get that done? Let's just forget everywhere else. We're going to tell you exactly where, and that's Upwork. Upwork is an online freelancing platform where freelancers go to to offer their services of any variety you can imagine. So you can basically go there to find workers, essentially. And we're gonna use Upwork to find a freelance writer to ghostwrite our book for us. So there are two primary methods that you want to use Upwork to find a ghostwriter. And the first one is to make a job listing, which is essentially where freelancers come to you. And the other option is where you explore the profiles of ghostwriters on Upwork. So you're essentially going to them instead of them coming to you. You want to use both methods to find your ghostwriter. But first, let's walk over to the computer where we're we actually go. gonna show you the actual how-to of doing this shit. Oh, uh, this is a disaster. Get out of here, dog. Mid-video, what's this dog doing? I, uh, uh did you catch him? Where'd he go? Let's chase him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at you. You know you're not allowed to be here. Just barged what in. What are you doing here? Get out of here. You look a little bit like Stevie, but I can tell you're not him. Get out of here. No, you better not piss. Leave. Leave. No. Christ. All right, guys, we're at the computer now, and before we dive into Upwork and show you guys how to use it and how to find a freelancer for yourself, I want to talk a bit about like the pros and cons and why you would choose to find your own freelance writer as right? opposed to using a ghostwriting company so to write your book. So the big con of hiring a freelancer to be your full-time writer is the hiring process. Yeah, It can literally take... I mean, it can take months until you find the right person, yeah. right? So it's all the time and effort you have to put it up front with no return, right? You could put in so much time into training and then they turn out to be not good. Which is why it's not ideal for a first time publisher. Yes. But for an experienced publisher, you definitely do want to give Upwork a shot. But once you get past that phase and you find the right person for the job, this is by far the superior method to use a ghostwriting company. Right. If yeah, you can get is. past and f actually find that perfect fit for you. Right. Because the big con with ghostwriting companies is like two big things. It's the lack of involvement in the project and the lack of communication. Yes. Because all communication goes through the ghostwriting company and then to the ghostwriter, then to the company, then to you. It goes like this and it's very inconvenient when you want to be super hands-on with the writing of the book. We want to skip this part and just go back and forth. Yeah, like that. exactly. That's what we do with a freelancer. Yeah, right. So when you hire a freelancer on Upwork, you could literally Skype with them. You could talk with them on the phone. You could even set up a Google Doc so that you could literally see where, uh, in the process, your book is at all times. Yeah. Like in live time, you could see them writing the book. Yeah. So you can be super, super involved. People who want that want to do this. That's why we're here to make this video because like it is a massive help if you guys can actually get someone mm -hmm. like. It's just the sky's the, the limit for your publishing business. It's just the hiring process that's a bitch, but that's what we're going to show you in this video, how to actually hire someone. Okay, now, so shall we get into let's it? Let's jump in here now. Yeah. So the first thing that we mentioned is that you could post a job on Upwork. And so let's walk through that process and show you how that's done. So you're going to make an Upwork account. This is just a, uh, a job listing that I made a few weeks ago. So everything's already filled in, but that makes this a lot quicker. So this is what the process looks like. First step is... Getting started, step one, enter the name of your job post. You're looking for a ghostwriter, so you're just gonna wanna put something like, ghostwriter needed for ebook about puppy training. And, we, and this specifically, example. we write puppy training because we want someone who has at least some experience or background knowledge on that subject. No, Well, right? you want to let the ghostwriter know what the topic is about mm -hmm. so that only people who are interested in writing about it will apply for the job. Yes. Okay? So you're gonna just go like that. And then the next step you need to do is move on to step number two, which is the description. You're simply gonna provide a description for what you're looking for with this job. So what we have written here, I'm looking for a skilled and reliable ghostwriter to write a 30,000 word long book about puppy training. I will provide a very in-depth book outline so that most of the research is already done for you. I'm looking for a writer who cares a lot about the quality of their work because that is what is most important to me. And then I give a little bit more information about what's, what's going to be talked about in the book. 
Hey guys, okay. we are here to do as much of the work for you as possible. Which is right? why we're the best publishing channel on YouTube. And which is why like we'll let you guys copy and paste this job description if you'd like. Yeah, comment right? down below if you if you want that. I guess we could we could make a document where you guys can just copy and paste so you don't have to spend the time looking at the screen and writing it. Yeah. Bowling if you guys want. Yeah. Uh, so step number three is details. This is very simple. What type of project do you have? This is just a one time project. Just put in one time project. It might be ongoing, but you can't guarantee that. So one time project, move on to the next, which is the expertise section. Now this section is honestly not that important, but something you have to fill out. Uh, it's just providing the type of skills that you're looking for in the ghostwriter. Good writing skills, we have fact checking. Humor was one that popped up as suggested. We're like, sure, Fucking humor in your book makes a good book. Especially I, if you pick this one or that one, like it's not gonna change the writer. Yeah. That you're gonna get. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's the other parts that are much more important than choosing these categories. Yeah. And then we just chose ebooks. So just don't stress about it, it's my point. Writing genre, this is nonfiction. What additional skills and expertise are important to you? These are all auto suggested. We just click the ones that apply to what we're looking for. Ghost writing, creative writing, writing, proofreading, editing, ebook writing, English grammar. They're just obvious and self explanatory. Yeah. Uh, but we're just going through the motions to show you everything. And then for location, you wanna do worldwide. You don't wanna limit yourself to just US only writers because. For one, worldwide writers are gonna be cheaper because cost of living, different countries, give you cheaper writers. And there are phenomenal English writers who are not technically native English writers from the US. And then just regional preferences. I just like to add every big content. Yeah. Americas, Asia, Europe, Oceania. And moving on to the next step, right here visibility who can see your job just make it anyone again it's one of those situations you don't want to neglect anyone who might have been able to f who can't find your job listing because you did upwork freelancers only or invite only okay and you're just looking for one freelancer qualifications optional uh, it, it's just not necessary and then the next step after that is your budget so for your budget you have two options pay by the hour or pay a fixed price and for ghostwriting, you do not want to do pay by the hour Never. ever, to be honest with mm -mm. you, because that honestly can just start drama. Now that that is part of another con that we haven't talked about yet with hiring a freelancer, right? When you hire a ghostwriting company or we use a ghostwriting company, they handle all the customer service and like dealing one-on-one, -on -one, like the personal relationship side yeah. with the freelancer. Dealing with people, the headaches. Like, you know that the ghostwriting company is gonna deliver it, you know it's gonna be on time, you know it's gonna be all these things. No drama. When you're working one-on-one -on -one with a freelancer, one that like they, they could scam you yeah. right if you're working with them they deliver it you don't like it then you want it revised they might not give you revisions they might argue about the price you really uh originally agreed upon things like that now that part is annoying but it just comes along with it it just comes along with the territory of hiring uh your own freelance ghostwriter okay so you're gonna want to pay a fixed price every time uh, and then do you have a specific budget again that's up to you um the higher budget you set the higher price writers you'll attract and most likely yeah. also higher quality writers you'll so attract. So when you put in your budget, this is not like saying anything like this is how much I'm going to pay for the book or anything. It's just giving a ballpark. A round number. You should give a ballpark figure. Don't say you'll pay $2,000 for a book, but in reality you just want the good ghostwriters, you just want to lure them in and then yeah, and then offer them 400 for the book. You don't want to do that. Put something realistic. Uh, we chose 900 which is about three dollars. Well, it's exactly three dollars per hundred words, over thirty thousand words. I'm absolutely willing to pay that for an epic book. Yeah. Right. And then level of experience. Again, a lot of these things are not important. The important thing is the 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 job description essentially. So just do intermediate. And then the last thing is the review. You can simply just review your listing, uh, and then you're going to go down and click post job now. Then it's going to be on Upwork, and any ghostwriter on Upwork who's searching for work will be able to find that job listing and they will send a resume, they'll apply, and then you now have some resumes to go through. That starts the hire, the interview process. Uh, now that's a video for a whole nother time. And we'll actually, actually make a video about that because it is super important and that is probably like the harder side of this. Mm -hmm. And that's why, that's like the big con to hiring a freelancer. To the, that whole side. But we wanna help you guys as much as possible to do that, yeah. right? But that won't be this video. Yeah. But right now we're just showing you how to get into talks with qualified ghostwriters. Yes. So then the second way that we mentioned is where you go to them instead of them coming to you. So what you're gonna do is simply just explore ghostwriter profiles on Upwork. Yes. Okay. And it just involves going on here. One of the big categories Upwork has is writing. Just click on the writing section. And then you could scroll down and there are a lot more subcategories. 
for writer skills. You can simply just open up some of these categories, ghost writers. If you want a business book, business writers. Yeah, ghost writers, writing. it's not like, yes, I'm looking for ghost writer, but that doesn't mean that's the only category you should no. go through here. Then there's, then there's, there's also for U.S. writers, you can look through that as well. If you want a fiction book, fiction writers. The point is there's tons and tons of tons of options on Upwork, okay? So let's look at ghost writers, and here we just have a bunch of profiles. And this part is very simple. You're just going to explore Upwork. It's as simple as that. Look through any profile that looks interesting. So we'll look here at Marie T. Go into her profile. She has a little, uh, a little resume about herself. And if you go down, you can see her previous work history and feedback. And if you go further down, you should be able to see her portfolio. Uh, right here is a portfolio that you can see of her previous work. You basically just want to explore all these profiles, figure out if any of these are a good fit for you, and then contact them, and then work something out from there. And, I, then, and then they are now in the hiring process. Yeah, I think the two most important parts to explore of their profile is one, their portfolio, mm -hmm. so you can see their previous work, mm -hmm. and you, you can read it and like, is this something I like, could I imagine this? Mm -hmm. If yes, good, if not, no. Mm -hmm. um, and then also the ratings and reviews. Ratings right? and reviews, yeah. Like, not that's actually. massive. Marie has a 100% job success rating. Uh, and then if you go here, work history and feedback, you can see exactly all the jobs she's done. Yeah. So normally it says how much she's earned. So she uh, on seven jobs, she has 100% rating. So that's very good. Earned over $4,000. Uh, that, just... That's unheard of, like 100%. Yeah. Right? I don't see that very often. Because she's only done seven jobs. Yeah. But anything above 90% is really good. Yeah. Once they start dipping into the 80s and below. I wouldn't even bother trying to interview them. No, no. Um, because then you're going to be dealing with someone, some drama. Again, quality is top, is most important for us. Yeah. But even just uh, like dealing with a headache of a person. Yeah. You don't want to do that. Um, but that is basically how you use Upwork to hire a freelancer or at least to find freelancers. Yes. Now the hiring process begins. There's a lot to talk about with that as well. It involves going through their work, having them write a sample for you, things of that nature. And then the final thing to do is simply give them a shot because you don't know how good a ghostwriter will be until they actually write for you. Right, the, the resume and portfolio and everything can look perfect. It's and the then, best it, and then do. when it comes down to it, it's just not the right fit. Yeah, it's the best right. you can do. Uh -huh. So that's what it is. So that wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Please comment any questions you have regarding this. Like we're here to help you as much as possible, right? And that went subscribe as well, of the course. audio. And with that, the mag magic emoji of the video is the pencil. <laughs> Not the pencil emoji. No. All right, there it is. Free training in the link in the description. See you guys in the next video. Thank.